hey guys, the good news, he has risen. But after that happened, there were two disciples that just couldn't put things together. They were very, very confused. And this story talks about these two disciples. So let's listen, and afterwards, if you have any questions, we'll answer them, okay? This is a seriously surprising story. Two people moving and marching, thinking, head scratching about something big that's been happening. But on the road to Emmaus from Jerusalem way, two became three, as another says, Hey! Hey, says he, you've been thinking and head scratching about something big that's been happening. So there's Jesus, but they don't recognize him. And Jesus is going to join them. You've not heard about what's happening? All of Jerusalem have been head scratching, that means thinking. What have I missed, asked the man. I'd love to know. Please tell if you can. So Jesus is going to listen to them. It's about a man called Jesus, and we thought he was coming to rescue God's people and send the Romans off running. He did and said loads of cool stuff from a place up north called Nazareth. He told great stories and healed the sick. He knew people by name and what made them tick. See the love? They're talking about Jesus. Oh, remember the wedding? He turned water into wine. He brought his friend back to life, and his friend felt just fine. He was sharing and caring. Just ask his friend Pete. And he walked on the water with only his feet. He said shush to the storm, and the storm was hushed. He did the miracle with bread and thousands were stuffed. Besides all this, his sermon up on the hill, he told so many stories that stay with us still. I can't believe it. What a big loss. A man so great who hung on a cross. And on that cross, that's where he died. I feel so tied up in knots inside. So they were very, very, very worried and concerned about what had happened and just didn't understand. After three days had passed, it feels like 70, because now we've heard his tomb is empty. That's right, you heard me. His body is gone. But who would take his body? He never did wrong. So the man said, you seem confused and out of the picture, so let me show you what it says in the scripture. It was always the plan, right from the start, because Jesus loves you with all of his heart. He died on the cross, but rose from the tomb. He came back to life, so you can live, live too. And as they were moving, and still head scratching, two of them stopped, but the third kept on marching. So Jesus is explaining to them that this was always supposed to be, that the scriptures foretold it. Hey, don't go, please, the two say. The sun's gone to bed, so why don't you stay? You're going to ask him for dinner. Good point, says the third. Day has turned into night. I'll stop over with you now, and we'll grab a bite. So he's going to go with the two and have supper with them. As they sit down to eat, they close their eyes. 
Jesus thanks God for the meal. And then, what a surprise. The two men stared and they rubbed their eyes. It's Jesus not gone, but fully alive. And then Jesus gave them bread. And Jesus then vanished and could not be found. The two left thinking and really head scratching. They'd just been with Jesus. Something big was happening. We must say we've seen Jesus. We must spread the word. Quick, to Jerusalem. There's no time to lose. So they realized that it was up to them to spread the word about Jesus being alive. All along it was Jesus, the very same one. They were searching scriptures with God's precious son. It was the biggest story that's ever been told about Jesus, whose reason it never gets old. The two disciples with Jesus in the most surprising way. They shared the story, and we still share it today. And I'm sharing it with you. And the disciples are going to go off, and they are going to spread the word. So that's the surprising story of the two disciples who run into Jesus on the way to Emmaus in Emmaus. I don't think I'm saying that right. Okay, and now they're going to go back to Jerusalem and spread the good news. Okay, that's our story.